man, I drank them all. Right there. Is that uh, passing the bar test right there? That's super cold, right? Twist off. Ah. All right, so let's talk about the car. Let's talk. Let's focus. Mm. I'm a little bit upset because I got my Beastie Boys shirt greasy and dirty, so I'm a little on edge. But uh, it's very windy out there, so I'm going to have to stand in here. Let's, uh, man, this, this garage is so dirty. But uh, she's going to go for a total cleaning once this car is totally on the road. So here we go. I got a Series 1 Airflow, uh, what's it called, meter um, uh, from a buddy of mine. And it's a Series 1. The electronics in this car is uh, Series 2, but it does work. I found out how to wire it up. I'm going to come out in the wind, all right? I'm sorry, but... So I've got that, got it wired in. This is only here to deflect the air, because I have no hood, from pushing itself straight in there. So don't judge me. It's not necessarily to filter the air. It's just merely to deflect it from shooting itself in at higher speeds. Uh, my idle air control, I had to mount that in here. Now, I'm only doing all of that right there so that I can just drive the car. Stock computer, I have a Haltech Platinum Pro plug and play for the RB25. This is a RB30, but it's got a, a, a 25 head on it. Beer break. Uh, um, so anyway, it, it runs okay. The, the stock computer is supposedly uh, tuned, but I don't know nothing about it. That's why I bought the Haltech. I don't want no stock, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I do not advocate. Well, I was going to say something, but... Okay, check this out. It runs okay... But a problem that I'm having is after it, uh, it's totally warmed up, but after it kind of warms up completely, it, it idles really rich. But then sometimes it'll come back. But see, like, uh, I, and the wideband just seems to be all over the place when it's idling. But when you're driving, it's really not that bad. But now watch, as soon as I rev it up, it goes a little bit crazy. I'm just going to rev it up one time. See that? Man, I don't know if I can deal with that at a red light. I'd have to sit at the red light and constantly rev it up, you know what I mean? I mean, are my plugs just going to... Look, that's, that's idle right there. I've adjusted the error... Uh, idle air, the, um, I've adjusted the idle, but the idle air kind of overrides the idle wherever you set the idle screw at. So I guess if I'm at a light, I can, uh, just kind of rev it up, I guess. I mean, it's, uh, I was going to say it's not terrible, but it really is. So let me, uh, take her down the road. I gotta set this phone down. I have no power steering. RB30 S30s 
are in the United States. Because this one's driving now, baby. See, now idle, it, it's, man, it's, it's a problem. It's, sometimes it'll die. bad, but it doesn't run real good either. If I try to idle it up, I guess I may play with it more, but if I try to idle it up, then when you start it, it idles like a monster, but I guess if it's going to do this after you touch the gas, I could, uh, I could idle it up. But, you know, it's, it's a stock... It's a stock computer, so I, I can't adjust anything. Man, it's not too bad, but... When you first start it, it's real smooth. Well, it's kind of smoothing out there. But, I mean, look at that. I don't know how long I could stay at a red light before I follow plugs. It's nice and smooth. Uh, the transmission, <laughs> I'm really embarrassed to say I had to add two quarts, so the noise has kind of quieted down. Let me push the clutch in. That input shaft bearing. All right, I'll let the clutch out. Man, I hope I didn't screw my transmission, but... You know, if I'm at a red light, I guess I can just kind of... tap the throttle every now and then. I may play with the idle a little more. Uh, no tack.